So I've been checking the news today and apparently in Spain they've decided to close down the different regions, potentially meaning that I won't be able to travel from region to region to reach southern Spain. So this, this really sucks and I need to keep on checking the news during this week and check out if I can travel or not. If not, I need to find last minute some other place. Since the last time I talked to you, the situation in Europe has become way worse. France has gone into a lockdown. Spain is completely closed. The UK is since Thursday in lockdown as well. So things are evolving really rapidly and not really good in Europe. But even though I've got something to share with you. I'm so happy to share with you that I actually made it. On Monday morning, I woke up at four o'clock. I decided to take a look at the documents that I needed to actually pass through France and they were wrong. So I had to print a new document out. And at that moment I thought, man, maybe you, maybe you can't do it. Maybe you really should not risk going on this trip. But then I decided, you know what, I have to try. So I wrote to the border um, on the Eurotunnel. When I showed my passport to the French official, he asked me, are you going to Spain? And I obviously said yes. And he just said, okay. And I was a little bit confused. So I asked him, can I travel through France? And he said, yeah, no problem. You know, that's fine. So. I was super excited, incredulous, but super excited. And I set off to ride. It was a really, really long day. I had contacted some friends of mine, Anthony and Leticia, who live in the south of France, very close to the Spanish border. And they told me that they could actually give me a room for me to stay the night. So I rode there. It was about 1,200 kilometers ride, really long ride. I arrived bone tired, but so happy to have a place to stay. And the next day I, I went down to Spain and I stopped in Catalonia in, in a place called Tarragona. There was a, a little camping site and they had this bungalows and I decided to stay in a bungalow because since Monday I had been riding throughout the rain and I didn't want to set up the tent in the rain pack it up all wet so i stayed in the bungalow and then on the following day on wednesday i rode all the way down to malaga and it was kind of bizarre because for one you know all the communities are supposed to be closed and nobody's supposed to travel from one place to another but there were many cars doing that there was no police i just i just could ride through 
um, which obviously I'm really happy about. So I arrived in Malaga into this apartment. I got an Airbnb for three weeks. After that, I will decide which way to go. I'm going to show you around and show you a little bit um, the things about the city, even though right now with COVID, is, everything is a little bit restricted. Uh, but I'm going to try to show you a little bit this place and how it is in winter in southern Spain. Thank you so much for watching. And if you would like to follow my adventures, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when a new video comes up, hit the bell icon. See you next time.